Hey, it's Ross Tucker, and as we all know, the NFL never stops. It has become a year-round league, so I'm here, as usual, to keep you up to date with everything happening off the field. And the biggest story in recent days, Darrell Revis, the New York Jets cornerback, at least for now, has been arrested in Pittsburgh. We'll see what happens with his case moving forward. His next court date has been pushed back. There are some legal experts out there that believe he will be exonerated of all charges. I think either way, he's going to get released by the New York Jets. They may try to find out if there's any way they can get out of the $6 million. They still fully guarantee him. We'll see if Darrell Rivas even wants to play football anymore. You'd like to think with as poorly as he played in 2016 that he would like to bounce back and not end his career on such a sour note with performing as poorly as he did a year ago and then getting in trouble off the field like he has. Speaking of off the field, a couple of guys switching teams, trading teams, but not for each other. Brandon Albert going from Miami to Jacksonville. Julius Thomas going from Jacksonville to Miami. For whatever reason, they couldn't work out a trade for those guys, so there's some seventh round picks involved. The contract's probably an issue, but it does make sense. The Jags need a left tackle. Brandon Albert's perfect. And the tight end needy Dolphins get Julius Thomas to reunite with their head coach, Adam Gase. Last but not least, Jay Cutler is officially available for trade. He said, I don't think anybody actually would want to trade for Jay Cutler. I say good luck to the Chicago Bears on that one.